What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about where you should live when moving to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Let's get into it. My name is Ramon Lomelli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group, brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem, as well as all the surrounding areas. I wanted to mention that over the last few weeks, I've had a bunch of you guys reach out, which is amazing. That's why I do this. And it always shocks me. People think I'm either going to be too busy or they're surprised that it's actually me answering the phone. That's why I do these videos, guys. This is my cell phone number. You can actually call me or text me. Like I said, I do these videos to help you guys. So please, if you have any questions, reach out. I'm always here to help. Also, we just finished our brand new relocation guide. So make sure you go to the about section and check it out. Whether you're coming here to live or just to visit, this relocation guide is going to be very helpful. Things to see, places to eat, things to do, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Now there are so many great places to live in Winston-Salem and in the immediate surrounding areas, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what to expect when moving to Winston-Salem. That way you and your family can make an informed decision as to which area of Winston-Salem may be right for you. The people that generally reach out from this channel are usually looking for very different things. So this video is an attempt to break that stuff down for you guys. Hopefully that helps. Now I left my personal favorite place to live in the Winston-Salem area for the very end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that one. One area that I find that a lot of my clients love is Clemens. Clemens is a town southwest of Winston-Salem. Very friendly people, great schools, and as of 2020, the population was only over 21,000 people. So it's still considered to be a smaller area. There are many reasons why Clemens is so popular, one of them being West Forsyth High. West Forsyth High School is highly ranked in North Carolina. Also, two major highways here in the Winston-Salem area pass right through Clemens. Clemens, both Interstate 40 and Highway 421. The people that live in Clemens, North Carolina are generally speaking gonna be higher income earners than your average person. Clemens definitely has a sense of community and also a real pride of home ownership. Most homes in Clemens are gonna be very well kept, very well taken care of, landscaping is gonna be immaculate. It's really rare to find a home that's in rough shape. If you ever do see one that's in bad shape, the investors are probably knocking that door down trying to get into it to flip it and you're probably gonna see it for sale in three to six months. In the past six months, we've seen 229 homes sell inside of Clemens. Clemens. The highest price was just over 2.5 million. However, don't get worried. The average price in Clemens is going to be right around 400,000. You can really find any kind of home you're looking for inside of Clemens, whether you're looking for brand new luxury construction, homes in neighborhoods, condos, villas, older homes with charm. Then you got a lot of waterfront properties as well. Another very popular area of Winston-Salem that a lot of my clients end up gravitating towards is going to be 27104, the zip code 27104. 27104 is on the western side of Winston-Salem, kind of north of Clemens. Clemens. This zip code alone has a population of about 28,000 people. Once again, 27104, you're going to have your higher income earners in this zip code. Depending where you are in 27104, your kids are probably going to go either to Mount Tabor High or to RJ Reynolds High. Both are really great schools here in the area. And 27104 is known to have some of the best neighborhoods inside of Winston-Salem. Buena Vista, Sherwood Forest, Country Club Estate, Highland Park, Ivy Stone, and Gordon Manor, just to name a few. And don't get me wrong, there are a ton of other great neighborhoods, but these are going to be some of the more highly sought after neighborhoods. In the last six months, we sold 264 homes in 27104 alone, the highest being 2.1 million. However, the average home price in the 27104 area is going to be right around $348,000. So significantly cheaper than Clemens and you get to be in Winston-Salem proper. 27104 is also very convenient because 421 runs right through there and you have Silas Creek Parkway, which basically gets you from one end of Winston-Salem to the other. By the way, guys, in the about section below, I'm going to put a list of all these areas and neighborhoods and zip codes that you might be interested in so you can see what home Homes are actually available right now as we speak. Feel free to check them out and compare them to homes in your neck in the woods. Let me know what you think. And also, if you're getting any kind of value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you go down there, hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things really keep me motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you. Now, we're going to talk about downtown Winston-Salem. Downtown Winston-Salem is a place to be if you want to be near all the bars, near the nightlife, and all the events that happen in downtown Winston-Salem, which you should look it up. They have a whole calendar, tons of events going on downtown. Now, when we're talking about downtown Winston-Salem, of Salem, there are exceptions, but mainly we're talking about two kinds of homes. We're either talking about older historic homes, single family homes. But when we're talking about downtown, I think a lot of people, a large portion of people are thinking about the condos, the villas, the lofts, the studios in downtown Winston-Salem. In the last six months, the average price for the single family homes in downtown Winston-Salem was about $356,000. If we're talking about the condos, studios, townhomes, lofts, things of that nature, then the average price was about $265,000. Now keep in mind, those are going to be 
smaller and they're usually gonna have HOAs. Parking's gonna be a nightmare if you don't pay for it. Now, I personally would love to live in downtown Winston-Salem, but I don't think it's the best atmosphere for people with children. Me and my wife talk about it all the time. As soon as we get the kids off to college, we might be heading downtown. Now we get to talk about Louisville. Louisville is a very popular town, and in fact, it's a favorite amongst locals here. Louisville is also similar to Clemens with a lot of higher end income earners, except it's a little more country and rural than Clemens. So generally speaking in Louisville, you're gonna get larger lots, larger homes. It wouldn't be surprising if you're next to an equestrian property. They have a really cool town square. They call it Shallowford Square, where they hold all kinds of events, food truck festivals, all kinds of fun stuff there. Now, if you're curious about Louisville, I did do a specific video about specifically Louisville where I go into more detail. I'm gonna put that video in the about section of this video, so check that out, or you can just go to my page and find the video called Louisville. Louisville is also very convenient to 421, a major highway here, and the schools in Louisville are also really popular. In the past six months in Louisville, we've seen 118 homes sell with an average price of 434,000, so the price does go up there a little bit, but get this, the average home sold with 0.86 of an acre, almost a full acre, which is really cool. And by the way, that's not to say that you can't get even more land in Louisville because you totally can. There's plenty of homes out there with two, three, five, 10, 15 acres. The people that typically live in Louisville are gonna be people that are, you know, maybe 50% country, 50% well off with some money. That's the kind of people you're gonna see there. So country sophisticated, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, which is a type of person. Now we're gonna talk about the town of Rural Hall, which is north of Winston. Now, when I first moved to North Carolina, Rural Hall actually used to be very rural. And not to say that it's not anymore, it's definitely still rural. As soon as you get off the exit, you see a lot of businesses, a lot of housing developments. So it's becoming more and more populated. Very small population, 3,400 people, but that population is exploding because they are putting so many brand new construction homes in that area and they are selling quick. I mean, before they even hit the market, sometimes they're gone. But I do like it out there because the prices are generally cheaper and you're still really close to Winston-Salem. In the last six months, we actually saw 111 properties sell inside of Rural Hall and the most expensive one was just over $600,000. But like I said, don't worry. The average price in Rural Hall over the last six months is about $274,000 and you normally get three quarters of an acre in Rural Hall. Now that probably won't apply if you're looking at one of these new construction neighborhoods where the houses are closer together. And if you're considering Rural Hall and thinking maybe you need more land, there are plenty of homes out there with many acres, five, 10, 15 acres, in case you wanna try your hand at maybe an equestrian farm or maybe some livestock. But if I were moving to the area looking for something a little bit on the cheaper side, still close to Winston-Salem, I would definitely consider living in Rural Hall. And if you are moving to the area, feel free to go down to the About section, check out that relocation guide, let me know what you think. Now we're on to 27106, one of the most popular zip codes inside of Winston-Salem. 27106 is a zip code inside of where Wake Forest University is. So a lot of people that live there are associated in some way or another with the college. Another reason why 27106 is so popular is because it also happens to be home to some of the more sought after neighborhoods inside of Winston-Salem as well. Brookbear Farm, Greenbrier Farm, Firecliff Village, and Millhouse are some of the most popular neighborhoods inside of 27106. And like I said, there's plenty other neighborhoods that are fantastic. These are just the ones that we hear about more people requesting the more well-known ones. Now it's not cheap to live in 27106 because of its location, proximity to dining, entertainment, all kinds of fun stuff. You're also really close to downtown Winston-Salem. You have great schools. 411,000 is the average price of homes in 27106 in the last six months. But if you're looking to be in 27106 and you're on a budget, I've actually seen two bedroom condos for like 100,000, 120,000. They don't come available too often, but they do every now and then. I'm starting to realize this is a longer video than I thought it was gonna be. So thanks for sticking in there with me. So now we're gonna move on to Walkertown. Walkertown is a small town northeast of Winston-Salem with a small population of about 5,700 people. It's in high demand because people that live in Walkertown often stay there for a very long time. So we don't see a ton of inventory hitting the market. Now Walkertown is gonna be a more of a sleepy town. There's not a whole lot to do in Walkertown, but the prices are good and the proximity to Winston-Salem makes it very attractive. Now, like I said, one of the reasons it's popular is because in the last six months, the average home price was about $270,000. But get this, in the last six months, homes that sold there sold with an average of 1.12 acres. On average, over an acre of land per house, which is insane, it's amazing, I would love to live on an acre. Now in Walkertown, you normally see a lot of new construction homes in neighborhoods, or you're gonna see a lot of like brick ranchers with basements on some land. We also see A-frames, cabins, and some really cool bungalows. Now we're gonna talk about a town called Moxville, and Moxville actually holds a special place in my heart because it's the first place that I moved when I first moved here from Southern California. It's a pretty little town with a beautiful downtown area. It's very small and quaint, but there's a lot of local businesses, some local restaurants. And although it's been built up in the last four or five years, you still find a lot of farmland. You still find a lot of equestrian property. So if you're looking for something a little bit outside
outside the city limits, definitely don't rule Moxville out. Now in Moxville, there still happens to be very low inventory. So if something does hit the market and it's priced reasonably, it's usually gonna get snatched up really quickly. Also, as of late, we've seen a ton of new construction builders building a lot of subdivisions kind of on the outskirts of town. In the last six months here in Moxville, the average home sold with an average price of about $269,000. And get this, in the last six months, the average home sold with 1.98 acres, almost two full acres per home in the last six months. That's insane, and you're not gonna find that in the neighborhoods, but if you're looking for something with some land, I would definitely look at Moxville. You do see a lot of regular neighborhoods, condos, villas, townhomes as well inside of Moxville. Uh, but one of the negatives of Moxville is that you're gonna be 20 to 30 minutes away from Winston-Salem. All right, now we're gonna talk about the town of Kernersville, North Carolina. Kernersville is a town east of Winston-Salem, and it's highly sought after for many reasons. Great schools, a lot of higher end income earners live in Kernersville, as well as the fact that it happens to be kind of in between Greensboro and Winston-Salem, two of the larger cities here in the area. And it's not so far from High Point, North Carolina either, which is another city. So if you're moving here and you have a spouse, one that works in Greensboro, one that works in Winston, what better place than Kernersville, North Carolina? Kernersville also has a really cute downtown area. It's quite small. And you can find any kind of home that you're looking for here, whether it's a single family home in a neighborhood, some kind of country home with some land, townhomes, villas, condos, all kinds of stuff. In the last six months, we had over 500 homes sell here in Kernersville, North Carolina. And the average price there being about $295,000. Now I'm sure that has a lot to do with the amount of new construction homes that are going on right now in Kernersville, because we don't normally see numbers quite that high. All right guys, I said my favorite, the best in my opinion for last. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys I have that free relocation guide. I'm also going to have a link to all of these areas in the about section below. Make sure you check those out. Don't forget to like and follow to keep me motivated to keep bumping out these videos for you. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the great town of Advance, North Carolina. I love this area and you're probably going to like it too. One of the reasons I like it so much is because it's as close to Winston-Salem as you can be without being in Forsyth County. It's in the adjacent county over called Davie County. And that means that the property taxes are going to be a lot cheaper. Advance, North Carolina is also home to some highly sought after neighborhoods such as Bermuda Run, Oak Valley, Kinderton Village, just to name a few, there are a ton of other great neighborhoods in Advance. To me, Advance is the perfect blend of country, rural life with a little bit of luxury and nicer amenities. It's kind of like Louisville, but cheaper. One thing that Advance North Carolina lacks in is gonna be entertainment. They've got plenty of things to do and some great restaurants, but there's not a whole lot of entertainment inside of Advance North Carolina. So you're gonna have to travel to Winston-Salem if you're gonna wanna go to the movies, catch a play, watch a baseball game, hit all the bars or clubs, things like that. The Yatkin River, also runs through Advance, North Carolina. So if you like boating or fishing, you're going to be a fan of that. Now, the average home in Advance, North Carolina sold for about $420,000 in the last six months. However, you can definitely find homes cheaper than that. Another great thing about Advance, North Carolina is that in the last six months, homes that sold here sold with 1.56 of an acre. So that's great. And I just want to reiterate, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can call this number down below. It's going to be me. I'm going to answer or text whatever works for you. If you're a local, let me know if there's any areas I should have included. I'm only here to help. I'm doing these videos for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.